Hey everybody, it's Mike here from Grow Indoors 365. I, I wanted to start from this angle right here. This is actually my dining room, literally. So I don't really use this room. And this is where the huge grow tent is. I mean, uh, going down this way, you have, you know, living space. But as you can see, this is kind of off to the side. It's in this room. Um, nobody really goes in here. It's, you know, pretty large open concept, but overall, I just wanted to show you guys the size um, of the tent. As you can see, it's pretty large. Um, I don't have the exact size for this tent, but I kind of wanted to start this video off of an overall view. I mean, this is, this is I'm literally standing up and my hand is basically just reaching over there and I'm like five foot 10 or 5'11". This is an open window kind of allowing some ventilation to get out. When you have multiple lights going and um, also you have the, uh, the pumps going, and I actually want to start from over here. I want to show you guys what's really going on now. Now that it's been a week, today is uh, November 5th. Today is November 5th, and I want to show you guys what's been going on in the tent. So as you can see here, that is um, what the setup looks like. Okay, right down below there, those are the cucumbers, and I'll tell you why they're down there. This area right here, nothing is here yet. I used to do germination here, but I, then I found a better process up here. And here is where I have all my lettuce. Let's take a look real quick. Oh, and I have, some, I have all my lettuces as well as I have my um, broccoli. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on. I mean, I hope you guys like that setup. It's pretty, it's, it's awesome. I mean, uh, these, these reservoirs fit just perfectly. I mean, as you can see, literally, it's, there's zero room here. And I'm um, pretty excited how that, how that came out and allows me to get maximizing the yield and maximizing the entire space here. Let's take a quick look. And what we have, let me actually just brighten this up for you guys. So, as you can see here, this is the pirate lettuce. And remember, in an earlier video, I told you guys, check a look at the, you know, take a look at the specs. So take a look at those specs that some of these plants have. Now, you see this guy right here, this guy died out. And you might have that happen depending on where the actual plant is. Now the problem with that is, as you can see here, we have some beautiful white roots coming through right at the bottom. Look at that one down there. We got this one right here. And a lot of times, oh, we have some right here too, kind of just hanging out down there. Great. This is, this is a week old, but you're gonna see, I'm gonna give you the next update's probably gonna be maybe in two weeks. Because I really want you to see the significant difference between uh, one week growth all the way in two weeks and I think harvest is probably going to be about 35 days and on this one it might be actually 40 days but I'll probably be chewing on some lettuce way before that now the reason why I say that the harvest is getting a little slower in this case is because I'm actually using this pump for four reservoirs so the oxygen pumping into the plants isn't as much as I would prefer in which case I'm actually considering buying an additional pump just to allow additional oxygen and just pump it like you know tons of oxygen in there so these plants actually thrive because that's one of the things on why I find some of the plants don't thrive as fast so all of this this is my pirate lettuce let me get real close here maybe you could get a really nice close shot there we go it's real clear right there as you can see for newcomers this is basically the this is the growing medium. This is the rock wool. Around here we have our clay pebbles. Okay. And it basically holds the entire pod in. And uh, we have our roots that are coming through the bottom. Alright, and this is what it looks like on the inside as the air is being pumped through the air stone. And unfortunately, yeah, this guy didn't make it on the end here because the way that it's set up, as you can see, well, that's a huge root right there. As you can see, there's no oxygen to that bottom part of this guy. Or it could have been that just overall, he just, for whatever reason, didn't survive. And it happens. You know, that's why 
whenever I actually germinate seeds, I, I kind of do a count. So if I'm doing if I'm doing one reservoir and I have nine pods, I'll germinate like 11, 12 seeds because a few of them will not properly germinate, will not come out of their shell, and so forth. So those are some of the reasons why I do that. Um, over here, as you can see, let me do a quick close up. That is just regular romaine. So remember how these all look. I mean, we have our pirate lettuce here, which got the nice specs, it's like a buttery lettuce. It's like really nice and really nice and soft. Um, I also have one, some, some back there. Three of those. All of these, these six are romaine. These five right here are romaine, and then those three in the back there, and this one is broccoli. So it's it's going to get bushy in here. It's going to get crazy in here in just a little while. Let me just give you another close glimpse at what these guys looks like. And there's let me take a look how this is looking here. We got some nice root growth here. It's it's a week. I mean, I was expecting a little more, but I think I I really think I just need more oxygen delivered to the reservoir. As you can see here, this one's really going at it. And as you can see, look at the root development. As the oxygen's kind of pumped upward, the roots just want to reach, reach further. Hopefully you guys can see that. The roots just want to reach further into the water and drink some water. So that's what I got going on there. So this is all just, uh, this is all my lettuces and some of the broccoli. I might even have to move the broccoli. I don't know. I mean, I currently have some parsley that's being germinated. I swear to God, I don't understand why, but parsley is taking me like two to three weeks to germinate. And the seeds are now finally opening up. I'm getting some nice root, root development. Um, so that's that. Let's, let's talk about what we got going on down here. Okay. Um, these are my cucumbers. All right, let me actually make it a little lighter as well. Seems like uh, it's kind of dark in the tent here. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, the reason why I have these, uh, this like little plastic piece as well as the tape, you don't want to let light get into the reservoir because the roots do not want to be hit with a light. So I, I only, you know, I had what, six, seven, and uh, I had to cover up those two. Let's take a look inside what's going on here. If there's any roots, there's plenty of really nice roots. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see because I, I up the uh, the brightness on the camera, but there's a decent amount of roots that are happening. Uh, they're coming out from the bottom of these pods. So I'm guessing in the next week or two. I mean, uh, for for me, in this type of setup, cucumbers take a little longer. Um, also, it's just kind of it's like in that weird season of like being a little colder in a house and a little warm, where at times it could be warm or cold. So it's not, you know, it's not ideal. It's, it's a little colder than it should be. So a lot of times these might take a little longer to get going. But overall, these are looking good. Um, the next step for these, this one, this, this piece right here, this, uh, this leaf, it gets huge. And as you can see right there, there's its other buddy and it's gonna be coming out this way. Um, so wait till you see that. Let me actually give you a close up as you can see there. The other one's coming out right there. This one's looking great. That one's um, falling behind, but it's it'll come along. I think all seven of these are actually looking really, really good. And I'm really excited. So from here, basically, I'm gonna run these plants this way. I'm gonna push this further this way, uh, basically probably against the wall. I might actually take this top light stick it down here and uh, actually this type of uh, setup is great because you have this rail here this rail here another rail there and you can actually set up two of these type of lights on each of one of these rails so one here one over there this way you'll have uh, four lights which you know there's two lights in in one of these um, so it'll maximize the light and uh, what will happen is I'm gonna have a net and I've used this before. It's a net that gets connected to that corner there, this corner, the corner over here, and a corner over here. And basically, these flowers will just climb the netting. And I'll have to manually kind of maneuver them through the netting as they just reach for the stars. And um, I'm actually really, really excited to manually pollinate 
these cucumbers. It's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to show you guys the outcome. I've never done it. I've never pollinated it manually because I actually tried, um, about a year ago, I tried to do these guys in this tent. They started, they started, they started out really well. I started seeing growth. But if you do not properly pollinate them, you know, if they're outside and you, you don't have bees crawling up into the male and then, you know, taking some of that pollen on their hands and bringing it into the female, um, the cucumbers basically come out defective. Uh, what I mean is, I'm not even sure, I mean, I'm sure they're edible, but they come out with like a really large front, really small, um, back, basically a large back, small front or vice versa. They're kind of deformed. So that's what happens when they're not properly pollinated. So we'll see what happens. I mean, you guys are going to be running, um, I might actually do a video and just follow the transition of everything just for the cucumbers. I'm thinking about doing that. So those are the cucumbers. This is the current lettuce status of everything. So overall, everything's looking pretty good. Glad everybody's still with me. Follow me on this journey. Make sure you guys are germinating properly. If you have any questions regarding a setup like this, I'm here to help. Um, I'll answer your comments as soon as I can. Keep on subscribing. Make sure you give me the like button. Make sure you guys, you know, send the largest video that I have on the channel. It's got, it's approaching 16,000 views in the last four months. Look, the bottom line is everybody wants to eat clean. Everybody wants to have nice veg and everybody wants organic if possible. Now, it's super expensive at the supermarket. If you can, grow it on your own. If you can, grow it indoors 365 days a year. This is what I do. Let me give you one last look from how it looks from a little further away. It's fantastic. I mean, this setup is awesome. And um, I can't wait to show you guys in the next two to three weeks on just enormous growth, overgrowth of, of lettuces and just all this greenery. It's amazing. It's so much fun before dinner, coming in here, opening up the tent, grabbing some lettuce and just, uh, you know, making a really great salad. So that, that's going to complete today's video. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Happy Friday and we'll see you in the next few weeks.